everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. This is Crust, and I actually went right to the target at 22, and I, I'm doing a trend, the trends class today. So I did have, uh, this to get to the target for the class, and I got all out, but actually this is resetting up again. Uh, target for this uh, is to fall into the close, actually. Under 22, under the low of the day, this should fall down into the close. Next area is around 21.50. Or twenty-one dollars, and even twenty fifty. This actually here. This is setting up again right here, right here. This is setting up again right in here. I'm on the break from the trends class, so I'm not going to retake this. But this is setting up again right in here with a nice tiny stop. Jeez Louise, this is a ten cent stop in here in a fifteen minute chart. That's phenomenal. You could have actually taken this here in the five with even less. I'm setting up again right in here. Bigger targets, 21. I got a lot of it at 22 because I have the trends class today. Anyone went right down to the number, right down to the number at a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time here into lunch. And uh, and so we'll look at this in a minute. But actually, this continues, I think, here for a few days. I think it's another one that continues for a few days if this does not get down to 21 or 2050 today, which who knows? It could end the close. But the minutes are at 2 o'clock. This definitely, definitely should continue. I had a great entry in this. I, I saw this late. I didn't do it right away in the morning, although I liked it in the morning. And you could have done it immediately in the morning. You could have done it anywhere in the one-minute chart or the five-minute chart. And then I said, gosh, i got to find an entry in this. And I kind of had a feeling it wasn't going to actually wrap. Look at this. Look. Yep, here it is again. It's going to break a new low today. Anyways, I kind of had a feeling it was not going to rally correctly here on the five. So I decided to do it on an aggressive entry into here which I did, and I put the stop at the right place. And then I took even more when I saw a break here under 48, and it dropped off, and I stayed with it, I stayed with it, I stayed with it, I stayed with it. I stayed with it all the way down, and then the time of the day was good, and again, I'm doing the class today, but honestly, if I wasn't doing the class today, I probably would have gotten out of half, let it rally back, lowered the stop, and added back in this year now, actually, or got out of the whole thing, and I'd be retaking this here now as a brand new trade. This is going to continue here. I think this breaks a new low this afternoon. It's not ideal to be in any trades during the minute announcements, but I actually think Crust is one of these ones that won't be affected by the minute announcements. I think the minute announcements are not going to affect this whatsoever. That's pretty much the story with this. But beautiful trade here, and the bigger target's in sight, and it should break 22 here before the close, irregardless of what the market does. If it doesn't, this is still lower here. Um, tomorrow and down in the next day. And I wouldn't be surprised if this gaps down tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if this opens neutral and falls off a cliff tomorrow morning or actually gaps down and does it tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful trade in Cress and uh, went right to the target. I love it when you take something that goes right to the target. You don't get that all the time, but every once in a while you do. And, uh, and so this was a good one for doing it. I had 100% con conviction it would go to the target and I had a really late entry. I mean, this is like so late for me to be doing something even at all after 10 o'clock. But I saw it going to the number, and I just didn't get it in the morning. I just didn't watch this out of the gate in the morning, and I kind of wish I would have for sure. But I did have a good amount of this. Beautiful trading crust. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming Golden Gap class, it's going to be May 10th and 11th. I'm also... Um, running a special, which expires the end of this week on Friday at midnight. If you sign up for the May Golden Gap class by this Friday, you receive two free months in the live trading room. You have to register by Friday at midnight for the class that would be May 10th and 11th. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.